I'm going to summarize 40,000 hours of Blender in few minutes that will help you make your renders feel cinematic. Lighting can make your render look dull, dark, flat, so doing it correctly is the most important part of every project. Let's start with the outdoor lighting. Just place the sun behind the subject or in the side of it. Just make sure it is not in front of your subject. Now let's talk about indoor lighting. The best way to do it is by adding an emission plane at the top and one at the back. In the visibility tab, uncheck the camera to hide these planes. Just make sure you don't add any light in front. Let's fix your camera. If you go into the camera properties, you can see the focal length option. If your shot is about an environment, use 24 mm focal length. And if your shot is about a character, use 80 or 70 mm. Under the focal length, there is a depth of field. Enable it. Increase the blades to 8 and ratio to 2. Select your object and play with the f-stops. I would recommend using between 0.1 and 0.8. In the Output tab, change the resolution to Cinematic Ratio, which is 21 by 9. You can use one of these resolutions for these black bars. Adding fog in Blender is so easy. Just add a big cube and add a Volume Scatter node. Make the density to 0.01. .01. Increase the anisotropy to 0.7, and you are done. You can also use an emission node, just add it into the volume and decrease its value to 0.03. You can use the mist pass to add fog in the background without increasing your render time. Just enable these options and play with these values. Open the compositor, mix these like this and add a color map to control it. Blender Compositor is too powerful. You can add cool distortion effect by adding a lens distortion node and use 0.02 value. You can also add a glare node to add glow or you can just use my free starter pack, which includes glare, lens flare and distortion, just ready to import and use. Get it here.